What up, Whiskey Ginger fans? Welcome back to the show. If this is your first time joining the show, welcome to the show. We got a good one. Uh, please like it, subscribe, leave a comment for the Al Go Rhythm. Uh, we post every single Friday. We haven't missed, baby. We don't miss. Uh, this week, my guest is Chrissy D, Chrissy Chaos, Chrissy Stefano, one half of the Hey Babe Pod, and Chrissy Chaos. I love this dude. This is one of my best friends on earth. He's insane. He's wild. Uh, almost everything that comes out of our mouths is uh, nonsense, and it's the most fun whenever I get together with him. I love him to death. Uh, I'm on tour, andrewsantino.com, for the Tito Cheeto tour. I'm everywhere. Boston, San Francisco, Atlanta, Columbus, Pittsburgh, Grand Rapids, New York. Uh, we're going to add Florida, uh, Chicago. I'm coming back home, Seattle, Portland. I'm everywhere, dude. Go to andrewsantino.com for tickets, andrewsantino.com for tickets. Please come see me. Uh, and uh, yeah, San Francisco, I'm coming up uh, Halloween weekend. I'll be up there in the Bay Area. So bring out E40 and come see your boy at Cobb's Comedy Club. I love you very much. Enough rambling from me. Let's go to the episode. In here, we pour whiskey, 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 whiskey. Oh, that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the Gingers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Whiskey Ginger. My guest today is one of my favorite people on earth. I say that for all my guests, but I mean it once again today. It is the return of the most beautiful, handsome, sexy, sweet, lovable, loving, uh, chunky monkey, uh, to uh, Tootsie Tuesday, um, sweetie Petey Poo Poo Pie, Chrissy D. Chris Stefano. Stefano. AKA Yay. Chrissy Skin Tags. Yeah, you're a little skin tag boy. You're a little sweet skin tag boy, but it's okay. And, yeah. I, and, and I'm glad that you're back. The fans are glad that you're back. And yes. you're in Southern California. What are you doing here in SoCal? I'm in Southern California because I, I was doing the Irvine Improv, mm. which was a lot of fun doing the Irvine Improv. They have a Ferris wheel. I went to the Cheesecake Factory. I was doing the Irvine Improv. A lot of whites. A lot of whites, but, 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 but. I'm happy. Um, I'm happy that I came out here because I got a chance. You to- came out while you were here. Yes. Wow. I came out on Seal Beach. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I took my shirt off, and all the seals came around and went, oh, 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 "One of us. One yeah, of us. Yeah. One of us." And they said, and they said, um, I laid down with them because I look like a seal, and I and I got and I have, and I'm also really like you know I'm bruised. I have a lot of bruises now because I've been getting beaten by my wife at home. Are you being serious? Are you confessing that for real? She beats me. Pimpsy, wow. the homeless pimp is sitting off camera season. And the Pimpsy Doodle is here with us, which I'm so happy. And you're in this big, beautiful Airbnb. People can't really see it. It's big, it's ostentatious, it's obnoxious, and it's gross. But and you're it's gross, in it. And I'm in it. And I thought that, and my manager said, hey, I got a good deal for us. I got it. And I thought, oh, good, I'll save some money on travel. And then he told me what the price is. And I said, that's a lot of money. <laughs> uh, he said, but we're going to split half. I said, yeah, it's still too much. Still too much money. Yeah, but what can you do? This is one of those houses that they built in a neighborhood where that house across the street is like, like a two bedroom, two bath. So is this a shit neighborhood? Is this not? No, it's not a bad neighborhood. I'm just saying what my point is when th this kind of thing, it's like they built these brand new houses and like I'm looking it up right now and they build these brand new houses in a neighborhood where it's not worth that kind of money. Like right. This is in, this is too much money for a little lot like this. Yes. Yeah, that's like, why the backyard, the fence is a, in the pool. I know. That's what I was. I was talking uh, to to Jasmine. You know, showing her Facetime in the house. She was like, "It's beautiful." And, and then uh, the back, I was I was like, "If we lived in L.A. or if we lived in Orange County, we would live here." And she goes, "Let me see the yard." And then she saw the yard. She was like, "Absolutely." There's no nice. yard. Look, this is a two point four million dollar house. Two point four. Okay. Next door is one one point one, and then one point one one point. Yeah. This is tw this is twice the worth. The comps. You know what they say? You don't want to be the most expensive house on the block. Why? Well, what's the reason for that? You think? Because you're the big schmuck that's upping everybody else's real estate, but it's not doing anything for you. It's not doing anything for you, and then people want to come in here and steal shit. That's also true. Yeah. There's well, I got to tell you, there's not a lot of good stuff to steal in this house. No, there's some really bad art. The, there's bad art. Half of it's coming off the wall. The, the, honestly, <laughs> the most expensive thing you could steal in this house is homeless pimps' pants that's, or the equipment. <laughs> the most, ex the only expensive thing in here would be the equipment homeless that's in here right yeah. now. Literally, yeah. homeless pimp. That we have to protect. Home, I would protect homeless pimps' equipment before I protect anything or any other human being. I would protect pimps' equipment. You're, you should sell shirts that say "Protect Homeless Pimp." Seriously. 
protect, protect homeless pimp. pimp. And by the way, shout out to homeless pimp who's helping us with this episode because you're in SoCal and yeah. you're you're 80 miles away, so we couldn't do it from a studio set. So come down yeah. here and pimp is doing me a big favor yeah, by letting Andre's us film. Couldn't do it because he has a Pilates class. Well, fancy. First of all, what's fancy? You doing? know, he's, he's getting his citizenship test soon. Is he? I I'll do I'm everything so in my power to get it revoked. Wait, why? No, we want, want him to go through the process. I want Andres to be a citizen. I got to tell you something. Fancy. I don't think I don't think I would be able to pass a citizenship I test. Could, can, Pimpy, can you pull up questions for the citizenship test and let's see if we can pass one? I guarantee one? you I wouldn't be able to do it because I'm dead serious flashcards because I'm not I'm not good. You were good with history. Yes, but 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 this isn't necessarily history. This is government. So a lot of it, you know, some of yeah. it is easy. Like, you know, like some of it's easy, like oh, who's the greatest president of all time? Trump. John, who's the worst yeah, president Donald of all time? Trump. That's, Obama. That's no, okay, so that's, let's see yeah. what the first one says. Uh, how many, wait, can you zoom in a little bit? It says how, how many, how, how many, many amendments? How you many see, amendments in the how Constitution? How many amendments? And I, I you know, I don't, is it 27? 25. Is it 25? I don't know. Let's click on it. Click on it, hon. 25. Wrong, Wrong 27. 27. You were right. That's it. See what I mean? I'm already, getting, Yankees I'm already getting kicked right back to Ireland. All right, let's do that. Which, which of these is something Benjamin Franklin is known for? You should know this. You just talked to Benny Frank. He was Benny the first Frank. person to sign the Constitution. He discovered electricity. He was the nation's first postmaster general. He was the nation's second president. He was the nation's first postmaster general. Yeah, he that's was the first, for he Benjamin was the first Franklin. PG. Yeah, that's right. Yes, it is. That's what it is. Yeah, All right, see, good. there it is. See? Okay, so we he got He did one. also discover electricity. He did. No, that was Tommy Edison. No, Edison's a liar, dude. Edison stole it Tesla from Benji. Tesla stole it. Tesla stole it. Tesla stole it. Tesla stole he stole it from Tesla. Who, Who was the president during World War One? We'll say it on the count of three. One, two, three. Roosevelt. Woodrow Wilson. Roosevelt is World War II. Yeah, it is Woodrow Wilson. See, I'd fail. There it is. See? Cause, but that's the only reason why I know that is because when I had an erection when I was a kid, I would say I got a Woodrow Wilson. <laughs> that's what we would say in, in Queens. We would say, look at my Woodrow Wilson. I would say a little, I look at my little red rocket, like a dog. Yeah. When a dog, when my, yeah. when my penis would go up, it looks yeah. just like a little dog's. Yeah. When the lipstick comes out, yeah. it looks exactly the same. You ever put lipstick on your pee hole? Come on. Come on. What do you think? I wasn't nine one time? <laughs> of course I did. A little, but what color was it? Lipstick? Uh, Ch Chantrelle was the color I used. Chantrelle? Chantrelle. I L'Oreal Chantrelle. I like black. I like obsidian black. I you like, did black I dick? Like black lip. I did black we dick. We got photos of you in black dick. <laughs> I'm in black dick. Imagine getting canceled for doing black dick. And I did getting black dick? <laughs> <laughs> I painted my dick black. <laughs> and I got canceled years later for doing... We got we got him doing black dick. And it's just, it's just so upsetting. What statement correctly describes the rule of law? The, uh, the law is what the president says it is. Uh, no one is above the law. The people who enforce the law do not have to follow them or judges can rewrite laws they disagree with. So you know it is no one is above no the law. No one is above the law. No also, also, by the way, some of those answers are still right. The people who enforce the laws do not have to follow them is absolutely true. You know how many be. times I see cops texting and driving? When we, Honestly, no joke. There was a guy on YouTube for a while, and it's gone. He would go record cops breaking the law. Yeah. And I'm sure he got sued. But sure. it was like cops running red lights or texting or whatever. Sure. And he would get the, the lights blazing. And it, it was amazing. And I was following it for a while, and then it was gone. But it was janky. It was done on like a... You know, like a like a, a little yeah. like a like a mobile phone. Dude, w w one time, I, this, I, it happened right in front of me. I was working as a physical therapist in a school, so this was 2010. One of my friends was a cop on the job mm -hmm. in an active duty car, NYPD, not undercover. NYPD, you know, pulls over onto the curb in front of me, sees me walking. I was on my lunch break. He goes, "Chrissy," I was like, "Oh shit, what's up, dude?" He was like, "What's up, buddy?" He goes, "You want to ride? You want to ride back to the school?" Because I was like a couple of away. I said, yeah, I get in. It was just him. I get into the, I was like, can I sit in the passenger seat? He's like, whatever you want to do. I sit in the passenger seat. He had an open can of Budweiser in the cup holder. Let's say his name. This is Officer Ryan O'Sullivan, badge number 42741. Yes. NYPD, bus book him, Dano. Bus book him, Dano. Well, what are you no. showing us? The First Amendment status? He, le oh. he left the NYPD over the recent protesting. What is this, the First Amendment? There's stand? a big YouTube movement of F First Amendment auditors who just go into public and see how long people will respect the First Amendment. That's so funny. Wait, so what is the First Amendment? Is right, freedom of speech, right? Yeah. Correct. So, right, so you're saying- The reason that you have a job. Right. Yeah, the only reason that we make a living is the First Amendment. Absolutely. Freedom of speech. Where are countries where you can't have freedom of speech? Can Canada. you have freedom of speech in North Korea? Canada. Canada. You know you get arrested if you say something too foul in Canada? Are you serious? If you say a racial epithet that, that is on the banned words list, you can go to jail. Didn't a comedian, it, wasn't this a big thing? In, yeah. Right? What, what was it? There's a comedian some, that got arrested up some there. Some Canadian comedian got arrested for doing a joke that was like too dirty. Countries with freedom of speech as of current 2021. United States, Poland, Spain, and Mexico. Wow. Look there, at that. 33 more rows. There's more. And isn't, isn't um, and, and that's where Andres is from. It's from Spain. 
He's from España. You think you think he's going to pass the test? 100%. He wouldn't no. get these, right? Look at this. Under I'm the Constitution, which of these powers does not belong to the federal government? Ratify amendments to the Constitution, print money, declare war, make treaties with foreign powers. Which so, one? so what the what doesn't belong, does to, the belong to the federal, federal government, government is to I don't think that I don't think the federal government can declare war. That's what I was That's thinking. That's Congress declares war. That's what war. I thought. But they have the, no, but the Congress is the federal government. Make treaties with foreign powers. Ratify. I make. You know what? I don't think they can ratify amendments because I think that has to be voted on. Let's try Doesn't ratify it? amendments. Let's try ratify amendments. There, oh, yeah, there it we go. Is. There it is. You know who I learned that from? My Lord and Savior, AOC. Tax the poor. poor. Tax the poor. This is what I think. I think we should be overtaxing the poor. Yes. What do you make? Six grand a year? Easy. Give me five. Give me five. You live with one. And if you show us that you can, as an American yeah. citizen, then the next year we'll give you money. It's like, hey, listen, you, you poor piece of shit. I'm going <laughs> to tax you on the money. What What's the difference to you between you make 25 grand a, re- a year or 23? The, don't you want to come to my boat show? So let me have the money, and then you and your little family can sit, and I'll give you all little chicken nuggets, and I'll splurge on you. I'll get you from Chick-a-fil-A. You know, ch- Chick-a-fil-A. Chick-a-fil-A. Yeah, yeah. I'll get it from the Chick-a-fil-A. And you could go watch my fucking boat show. Okay? How about this? You get to wash my boat. You get to that? wash my boat. Welcome back to wash my boat. We take poor people's money, make them wash the boat. <laughs> yeah. You know what's insane? That tax the rich dress that that chick wore oh, at a AOC. fucking gala where you got to pay like 20 grand a plate or something yeah. like that. The deafness. And you know, they blew up that chick that made that dress for her that she hadn't paid taxes. She owes like 130 grand. You want, you want to talk about a hottie? AOC. She's yeah. What do you? What do you? Yeah. What do you mean? Hot, hot, hot. It doesn't, hot, it doesn't hot. mean she's not f- foolish. And you know what? She hates whites, but like always, guess what color her boyfriend is? I hate whites is. too. I hate whoa, whites whoa, 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 whoa. too. Oh, white. She's white. Her boyfriend's white. Of course, her boyfriend's white. Um, Does that hom- give you hope? Yeah. The homeless pimp. Homeless pimp gave me the greatest Christmas gift of all time two years ago. He gave me a hat, which looked just like the Make America Great a hat, mm-hmm. Make America Great Again hat. It was the snapback red hat, classic hat, and it said Make AOC Bartend Again. <laughs> that was that, <laughs> and it was awesome. And it's and Jasmine hates that I have it in the house. And I say, don't fucking touch that hat. You know when she bartended, she did that thing where somebody asked for a drink that they wanted, and she just said, no, you're just gonna get a whiskey coke. Yeah, like I somebody goes old fashioned. She goes, no, you get whiskey coke. Whiskey coke. All right, let's do one more. I want to do one more um, question from uh, the from the test. Yeah, let's, let's see. see who who is the chief justice of the United States right now. That's too easy. Where does it say it's, that? It's Brett M. Kavanaugh, baby. Beat the charges, yes. Kavanaugh. <laughs> Who is the chief justice? Oh, isn't well. that funny? Yeah, it's Roberts. But isn't that funny that they threw his name up there? Why would they throw <laughs> his name in there? Why would Kavanaugh be in that thing? We yeah. elect a U.S. senator for how many years? Is it is it four years? I want to say I thought it was I six. I think it's more because I feel like the U.S. senator, like, like, you know what I don't understand is like in New York, let's say, there's a U.S. We really don't know this answer. I think it's I don't know senators. Is it six or eight? Because like who like is AOC a senator? What's this being a senator and being in Congress? Isn't oh, it all the same shit? To me, it's all the same shit. Like like the senator from New York, one of them is Chuck Schumer, the other one's Gildebrand. But then AOC is represents New York. So who's in the Senate? Who's in Congress? Who makes a decision? I don't understand. Senators represent their entire states, but members of the House represent individual districts. Ah, right. So it, that's just a district of the place. Otherwise, but, you're. But like when you're in, when you, when you, or senators represent their entire states. But House remember, representatives just represent, represent districts of that place. But do they all have to go to Washington, D.C.? Do they live in Washington, D.C.? Like the senators do? Yeah, of course. Or do they live in the state? Yeah. Or they live in the state that they represent? You know what I'm trying to say? Oh, no, you live like in the state. Like does AOC live in D.C.? And does Chuck Schumer live in D.C.? Or do they live in New York? No, senators live in... The state. There's only two senators. Yes. Uh, or in D.C., you meant. Because only two senators per state, but there's a lot of members of Congress per state, like of all these little districts. Most most senators do not live in their state, it says. They do not live in their state. They live in D.C. No, most senators do not live in D.C. They don't live in D.C. They live in their state. Yeah. We are going to get kicked out of the country. If, if, If the INS gets a hold of this, they might think that we belong back where we're from. Yes. Go back to where you're from. Yeah. Where would you have to go back to if they kicked you out? I'd go back to the motherland, Deutschland. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so what, welcome I, back to Chrissy Hitler. Try four years. Try four years, but try I think it's six. Try four years, but it's, I, think, I think he's right that it's six. Six, right, I was right. Six, all right. Last question, let's go. Last question. Um, the House of Representatives oh, has how many on. voting members? Who knows? It, it, 100, 435, know 535, or 538. It's got to be, I think it's 435. 435, which is also my cholesterol. 
I don't know why that number's right, but wow. I, yeah, that is right. Santini got it. It sounds like it was okay. So I would do okay, and you would do okay. I would do okay. If we, I, I guess what it should be. You should be able to take the test with a friend. Seriously, why not? Why can't you phone a friend? Phone an American. Oh my God! Phone you have, an American. You have, you have lifelines on the on do your it. citizenship tests. What are you going to do if Andres fails? Are you going to really give it to him on the pod? On I'm going to send friend? him back. I already we bought him a ticket. Really good. Uh, yeah, we did. Right to Madrid. Yeah, 100%. How come he doesn't take us around Spain and show us around? Fancy. I don't think he can afford to go there. Yeah. You know, you know, seriously, it's like he does probably want to go home. We just won't let him. Seriously, we've got I him, let him either. up. We've got him locked up, and then financially, we pay him just enough where he couldn't take a flight back. It'd be funny if Bobby Lee failed it and he had to go back to Korea. It'd be like, like you know, when you have a house cat and you just let him out, uh, he'd get crushed. <laughs> but Bobby has to go to North Korea. Yeah. <laughs> How great would that be? Can you imagine? But they drop him off in Japan on accident, and oh, he just my. figure he just is like, well, I guess this will work. In there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, whatever. I what does that say? Work. An Italian priest stole 120k from a church to buy drugs for, for at sex, sex parties. parties. Yeah. Yeah. What a cool priest. I know, See, dude. See, this is that, what priests should be doing, not touching kids. They well, should be stealing money well, for sex parties. Well, that's the thing, and I kind of think, like, I know vices or complexes writing this with a negative tone, but hasn't the Catholic Church been saying for years that they need more people to come to church? Well, this is how you do it. This is how you, you recruit. You get the priests out there, and you start having sex parties. Would you Have you ever been to a sex party for real? Uh, you know what? I've never, ever in my life been to a sex party, but I would actually love to go. I would love to go. Well, yeah, I, we'd all love to go. But you've never been invited, have you? No, I've Pimp, never. Pimp has been. In the Actually, Hamptons. I have been. I know you have. I know. You what have. happened? What was the I story know, again? I'm good at things like this. I know people's, I told you, you had a thick cock on, on his show. On Chris and Cass. I know you've been invited to a, a sex party. Have you attended? I, I didn't know it was a sex party. It was supposed to be a business meeting that mm -hmm. they comp my ticket. Right. And then all the sex workers got mad because I didn't want sex oh him turns down girls like it's very impressive no but i get it he doesn't he's too he doesn't need that distraction he's wor he's working on other things in his life i get distracted. he doesn't need to be distracted you know I, yeah by the way i did learn online tiktok showed me there is a kind of um um earring or necklace or symbol that you wear to to signify that you are into swinging um, I think it's a seashell. Do swingers and seashells? Do swing? Yes. Do do do. I uh, think that's what it is. But no, I'm serious. There was like a thing. Oh wow! Yeah, there, you're right. There it's was a, a thing. No, but I don't know. No, see that the, it it would come up and say it. He there, puts swinging seashell necklace. Swingers uh, s necklace. There's a thing that they wear when you're a swinger that that signifies. Um, that they're into um swinging. I don't. I, dude, I saw it online, and I forgot what it was. Still Secret swinger symbols wearing an, a toe ring, anglet thumb ring. Yeah, but it, but it, but it wasn't that. It was also it, it wasn't just a ring. It was a design specific. What is the symbol for Let's swinging? See that. A, a pineapple. pineapple. That's right. That's what it was. Wow. It, yes, dude. It was. A, I'm not, and I'm not kidding. So I see this on TikTok. I see this on TikTok, and I log it in, and it was the same day I logged in, and I was like, that's interesting, you know. And then I'm in line at this local coffee shop. This woman has pineapple earrings in, and I'm thinking. What if she's a swinger? Also, what if she loves pineapple? Yeah. What if she's saying to her husband, remember to eat pineapple because your <laughs> tastes better when yeah, you have pineapple? Yeah, that's what they say. It's a myriad bromine. of stuff. That's what it's called. The chem chemical is called bromine. That's that what makes, happens that when you eat sure pineapple. Come smell sweet. Come taste sweet. Taste sweet. Well, because I cooked my cum in a pineapple ba of a pineapple pie mm. batch and it didn't taste as good. I know. I, I put my cum in my ties sometimes and it doesn't taste good. My ties at baseball games. Come my ties. <laughs> come my ties. <laughs> I'm just going to baseball games too because the last time I, had, I went was with you and your, with, and and your Angels papa. Game and my dad and he, and he didn't say anything. He didn't talk for the whole... T I thought your dad was a mute. Yeah, until you would ask him a baseball stat. Then he would go... Then he was Rain Man. He was Rain Man. He He's like, Jeopardy, stats. Jeopardy, Jeopardy. <laughs> I got to tell you, going back to that, seriously, the, the Italian thing real fast, yeah. that, that priest, if he didn't do anything illegal... Right, other than what? He stole from the church. What did it say? He stole from the church. Uh, okay, that so that's a crime, but... Big deal. They've been stealing from people for years. Exactly. They don't pay taxes. Yeah. Okay, so what? He stole a little bit of money to fund a, a party that might get young people interested in Catholicism? Yeah. Seems like a good new marketing I, yeah, team. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, you want, you, want, you want people to be in the churches, get their ass... What does he say? Oh, this is him? He's good looking, like, too. He's got a great head of hair. Can you zoom in on him a little bit? Dude, why do priests... Priests should be... It should be at the point now where they have can have sex with women or men. Why is it that they don't let them have sex? What do they say it is? Because I grew chastity, up Catholic. It's a vow of chastity because they said When that did God you, ever say you shouldn't have sex? Clerg, clerg, clerical celibacy is a requirement. That's a good band name. Cler what up? We're clerical celibacy. Yeah. We're clerical celibacy. What up, San Jose? <laughs> it's a requirement <laughs> in certain religions that some or all the members of the clergy be unmarried. Okay. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Because you can't get married, then you can't have sex. That's what it is. 
Yes. Yeah, that's that's the loophole. So they're like, well, you you can have sex, but you can't do it because uh, if you do it without marriage, then you're a sinner. Here's the thing, though, because then you're a sinner. But now, because all these rules are written, you know, like, can, what if I what if I was a priest, but I I fucked a flashlight? What does that? What's the is our pocket pussies? Am I breaking my vow? So this is crazy. I've heard from I've heard I've heard I've heard from friends who have spoken to their priests mm-hmm. that have said some of them don't masturbate, and then Which some of them are okay with it, but the ones that don't masturbate. They must die super young. They have to. You have to get it out. Otherwise, you'll have night. You'll well, Google what happens if you never masturbate or in, yeah, engage dude. in. You, I'm sure it leaks out of you. Uh, nocturnal emissions. Then you, you have wet dreams. No worries. Sperm that aren't ejaculated. They get reabsorbed into your body. So the so the jizz is just going back into oh your body. Oh my god! So all the priests are just full of jizz. <laughs> <laughs> Or or it gets or or it gets ejaculated out of your body during nocturnal emission. Nocturnal emissions. emission. Those are wet dreams. So if you don't come, if you just spend your whole life not coming, it's coming out it's whether coming you like out. it or not. It's healthy. It's actually healthy. If you're out there like and you're like one of those like you can be celibate, that's fine. But you should be masturbating. You masturbation have to get it is out. healthy. So the fact that like my mom would be like, oh, you make the angels cry. I'm like, no, I'm trying to just be healthy. But that mom. is angel tears. I'm going to the gym. Nocturnal emissions is angel it's tears. Angel tears. Yeah. they're crying for you. Yeah, was, that's what I say. I would tell my mom like, yeah, I'm using the angels tears as lube. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming out. I'm oh. coming out at night, and you're full of jizz. Dun, 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 dun. There's no real health risks associated with not masturbating, though some people may find it challenging, frustrating, triggering, moodiness, irritation. In some cases, it may cause epididymal hypertension. Oh, do you know what that is? Epididymal hypertension is the it's little where your penis band is tight in your balls. Yeah, that l- little epididymus. It, it gets really tight. It's really fucking tight. Blue balls, known as medically epididymal hypo- hypertension. That would have been funny if you said that to a girl. It's like, come on, baby, you got to finish. You don't want to give me epididymal hypertension. hypertension. I'd be like, I got high blood pressure in my balls. <laughs> <laughs> it can affect people with male genitals. It's not serious, but oh, causes man. I pain. love that they say male genitals. It's like Wait they- a minute. Do girls not have anything like blue balls? Do they- girls have like bl- like a purple clit or yeah, what, I mean, what would it be? I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, blue clit. What do blue do? No, girls have blue I, no, balls? No, no. Uh, actually, in fact, oh, there, there is. is a female equivalent wow. to blue balls. It's blue called bean. blue bean. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is going to be called blue bean. Blue bean. Wait, the blue Clip bean. Clip it. <laughs> the blue bean, the bean referring to the clitoris. When a woman becomes sexually aroused, her clitoris hardens and swells with blood. The vaginal walls and labia will also get pumped with blood. So listen, <laughs> if they're not satisfied, the blue bean lets you know. The blue bean. Ah, I gave her a blue beaner. <laughs> <laughs> blue Did you be- blue bean my sister? Yeah, you fucking cocksucker. You get back over there and finish what you started, pal. You gave a blue bean. That's nuts. I've never heard of that in my life, but I love oh, that. Oh, dude, uh, this is why we love. This is why I love podcasting because you always figure. You always. I like always, learning. Always so I'm learning about Blue Bean, and we learned that there's 538. Um, cons- four. 438 members of Congress. Yeah, see, you learn stuff like this. Drug companies aren't drug testing employees because the labor shortage. And they shouldn't be anymore. The no. amount of signs. I'm, I'm going to be serious for a Seriously, second. Please. The amount of signs when I travel this country that I see for unemployed for hiring. We're now hiring is scary. Yes. Dude, it's so crazy how many people need work. The comedy clubs, the amount of times that the owners or managers are like, hey, man, I just want to let you know it's going to be a hard weekend on our staff. They're all new, and this is their first week they've ever worked at a comedy club. Yes. And I feel terrible because you can tell that they're overwhelmed. A girl in Denver dropped three trays in one night. In your show? In one night. Yeah. It, like in the middle of your set, three yes. trays of drinks, food, everything. Two shows, one night. Wow! Yeah, drinks. They don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think they do food in, at Comedy Works. But it was drink. It was all drinks. And what? What like on people? Like fuck! Like one that. of them was definitely on a guy. One of them went all over a man on the corner, and the other one was just drinks that were. You know, when they pick up empty glasses and they just it it, it just bang bang banged everywhere. God, it made me sad, sucks. dude. Did but you say anything? You just kind of left. I, right? I go fi- I go. You're fired, and everybody laughed. And I said, I'm serious. They made her. I made her get yeah. out. They fired her. Yeah. I go. Everyone, boo that idiot. Yeah. Boo. boo. No. No, I didn't no, even you say. I'll give you blue beans. I blew bean death. No, I didn't even acknowledge it because I know how hard and shitty that is. And she, God. I've given so much credit over the years to people that work at those comedy clubs. They deal with drunk fucking assholes, and they've got a and they have to shimmy through seats to give you your drink. And then people complain, and it's just I feel so bad for the people that not feel bad, but like 
I have uh, I respect the people that work in the comedy clubs at night Very serving difficult. fucking drinks. It's oh, especially like that tough. Friday night late show that drunk starts at assholes. ten o'clock. You've been working all day. You're just a drunk piece of shit, and I had this poor waitress or waiter has to just deal with these. Uh, yeah, I, I hate it. But 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 bottom line is, you drop the drinks at my show. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> the real question is, what are people doing if they're not working? Well, they're taking money from the government. Yeah. What's really going on is so with with the checks, right? That the twelve hundred dollar checks or whatever they wrote, people are also getting EDD. So like you're getting unemployment and you're getting the checks. So there, there. I had someone tell me a young comic said, "I'm making more money on the unemployment and the checks than I would if I was serving." 100%. So why would they work? No, you're but, giving them incentive to not work. But the stimulus check and all that is, has ended now. So now you're going. No, it's ending. The last one just happened. Okay, so so people, so that's so what, they can still last to the end of the year. People can still get till next year. But that's what I'm saying. Like as time goes on, you're going to have no choice but to work. I think a, another big thing is you say that, but people's egos too. People don't want to just work. They want to work in the job they want when they're like but i'm like hey dude there's a plenty of jobs you can work anywhere you can yeah. drive an uber you can do anything the amount you of don't sh- want to no they don't want to and, and and also but it's perpetuated by a culture of and i will say i sound like an old man but i don't care i worked so many shitty jobs because it kind of was like you just had to do it now i think people are too cool to work shit job they think it's below them it's like no dude it's like listen everybody gets mad when they're like oh i don't want to have to work i don't want to have to work this shitty job it's like well you you probably have that shitty job because you didn't apply yourself right. in high school or college which you wanted to party and have fun which is fine that's yeah. fine but you have to understand the repercussions of that is now now that you're an adult you have to do things you don't want to do because you didn't sac- I, I, we all I, do you think i wanted to sit and fucking when I was in my mid twenties, sit in a library where all my friends were going out and having fun, having sex with hot Latinas, and I was in there, I was in there with psoriasis flare-ups, learning about you know the different muscles and bones in the body. No, I didn't do that. I didn't want to do that, but I did that, and now and now I have I have a life. I have the life. And now that, you have have sex with hot, with a hot Latina. Yes, now I have sex with the hot. Now that's what I do. And now, see, uh, because but, see, you see, in here. We pour whiskey, whiskey. It's Halloween. Spooky season is upon us. You know what's spookier than seeing a black cat on Halloween? It's shaving your balls with anything other than Manscaped, huh? Don't nick your nuts. Manscaped is the best. I've talked about this company before. I do use them. I got one for my face and one for my bottom, dude. That's how you got to live. Uh, Manscaped is incredible. If you've never tried uh, any of their products, you're a stupido. And uh, they got it going on, man. Uh, unlock your confidence with the Performance Package 4.0. Inside, you're going to find the holy grail of men's grooming items. They made it easy for you to upgrade your grooming routine. It's a full, full moon out there, baby. And uh, your werewolf in your pants is, oh, you got to shave it down, you gross weirdo. Don't have a big bush, huh? Clean it up. Let them find it easier, whatever you got going down there. Uh, the Performance Package includes the Weed Whacker, which is the game changer. I love this thing, dude. And the Lawnmower 4.0, my favorite, genuinely. This thing is uh, waterproof. It's got a little light on this. You can see the nooks and crevices and crannies. And um, they also threw in two free gifts in their performance package 4.0, the Manscaped Boxers and the Shed Travel Bag. Shed Travel Bag is literally the DOP kit that I use when I'm on the road that I throw in my suitcase. And uh, they got shears in the 2.0 nail kit if you're uh, wanting to clean up your nails as well. They got a bunch of other life-changing products on their website, so be sure to check it out. If you haven't used Manscaped, you're a bozo. Get with it, fellas. Clean up your basement. Get it together. You get 20% off and free shipping with the code WHISKEY20. 20% off and free shipping with the code WHISKEY20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with WHISKEY20 at manscaped.com. Say trick or treat to your beautiful new Halloweeny with Manscaped. Hey, do you live inside? Well, then Simply Safe is for you. There's big news from my favorite home security company. I got to tell you, Simply Safe just launched their new wireless outdoor security camera. Incredible, man. The old days of having to wire stuff up, which I had to do at my house, was a nightmare. Uh, Simply Safe uh, is the system that U.S. News and World Report named the best home security system of 2021. That's right now. They just got even better. Um, this brand new outdoor security camera is engineered with all of the advanced technology and security features you want and need to help you and your family stay safe, whether you live alone or you live with a family of 15. Uh, it's ultra wide, 140 degree field of view. It's 1080p HD. You can zoom in and see the bozo that's stealing packages or creeping around your house looking if you still got chromies on your wheels. Do kids still steal those? I don't think so. That's the 90s thing. They got a built-in spotlight with color night vision. You can see what's going on any time of day. 
and uh, super easy to set up. It takes minutes. I did it, and I'm stupid. I've told you this. If a stupid guy like me can do it, I promise you, you're going to do it. It's easy to remove, rechargeable battery. It doesn't need an outlet or anything like that. You can put it anywhere. It's got, uh, it has it all. Integrates you with Simply Safe home security system, extending its protection to the outside of your house. To learn more about this exciting new Simply Safe wireless outdoor security camera, visit simplysafecom slash whiskey. You know it. What's more, Simply Safe is celebrating this new camera by offering 20% off your entire new system and your first month of monitoring service for free. That's pretty good, man. It's a great value when you enroll in interactive monitoring. Again, that's simplysafe.com slash whiskey. Simplysafe.com slash whiskey. Ginger. I like gingers. But that's the thing is I think that I think people, young kids, don't you feel it? And I'm sounding like old man. Don't you really think that like it, they don't want to do something that makes them look uncool. Don't of you course. think that's part? It's cool. I it's think a cool social thing. media has broken what they think. They're exactly. Like. Social media has made them think if they see me on there working at the chicken wing shop, you know, at Wingstop, I'm going to get made fun of. Yeah. Where me, I got a job at McDonald's and nobody made fun of me because they got free food. I was like, come the fuck over. It was, it was, it was like a, I didn't give a shit if the job looked lame because I was like, I need the money. Yeah. I need the money so I can get the drugs. Yeah. As a kid, that's all it was. It was like, how can I get the drugs? Yeah. I got to get the money. So I'm going to go work at McDonald's. I'm going to go work <laughs> as a swim instructor and a lifeguard. And I never really got certified. Shout out YMCA. And I did it anyway. Did it anyway. Was I a swim coach and I never swam myself? Yes, of yes. course. Yes. Did I ever have to save someone? One time. Did I think he might die? Oh, yeah. He was 78. I was scared. Yeah. He was drowning and I got scared. And the YMCA was like, you, I don't think you finished your qualifications. And I, you fucking bet I didn't. <laughs> yeah. I did not finish. But and that I'm, was pre 9 11 when you could do that. Pre 9 11 when you could when you do could have that. Fun, when you could say, I don't Once need to they be put the plane into our buildings, everybody got yeah, serious about qualifications. Everyone's got to take their shoes off. Background like, checks. Yeah. I miss just, you know, having the drunks lifeguard that was having sex with, uh, you know, an underage girl and then kids died in the pool. It happened. But Nine eleven ruined it. It ruined it. Just like you, COVID's ruined it. I'm not stuff. kidding, dude. I remember taking a cab in college, and the fucking cabbie would be drunk. I remember yes. the cabbie was. And like, it was fun. Yes, it was fun because you thought we could die being safe, but it wouldn't be our dude, fault. I was such a little. I was such like a little prude kid. I remember being like maybe 14, 15, and a friend of mine worked at McDonald's. This girl, mm -hmm. and we all would go to the McDonald's. They would all go to McDonald's, and she would give everybody free food the but best I, but i just didn't know so i remember i went up there her name was margaret i was like oh margaret, margaret what cho she's a great she's a comic now margaret cho and and so and so <laughs> and so i i go up there and it's like you know her manager's there like she was 17 whatever and and i ordered like i would always get the same thing i'd always get a number two when i was 15 years old i would get a number two which quarter is two pounder with cheese no number no? two is two cheese two cheeseburgers that's right a number two with a diet coke i was drinking diet coke I was 15 because i've always had body image issues so i'd always you so, would drink diet coke as a kid yeah like an that's idiot. disgusting i'm a piece of did shit did you ever have diet coke as a child I never. No. I didn't have Diet Coke until I was like thirty. No, dude, I would drink Diet Cokes like that. Was what I, my aunt had. I was like eleven drinking Diet Cokes. So I go and I and I order the number two. I order the number two. I would always get the number two with a Diet Coke and then sweet and sour sauce because I would dip the burger in sweet and sour oh sauce. Oh my god, yeah. that's such a good call. It's so good. That's what I would do. And then sometimes I would order just the Big Mac sauce. I would say, "Can I also get a side of Big Mac secret sauce?" And they would do that. So I do. I get, I get that. And I'm like, "Oh, thanks, Mario. I'll see you later." She goes, "You're not done yet." And then she starts putting all this food in my bag. And I was so Margaret. oblivious and didn't know. And then I was like, no, no, this isn't for me. And then, and then. You snitched? No, li You're like, manager, well, no, manager. I didn't know. Her manager was, he was wearing the black shirt. He was standing like two feet away from her. And she went to take the next customer. And I said, I'm sorry, sorry. I said, she gave me all this extra food, but I think there was a mistake. And he goes, what do you mean she gave you extra food? I said, she just put stuff in my bag. I was so... Dude, you're a rat. I was such an asshole. You're a fucking rat. She got fired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're a rat. She got fired the next day. And then she, I remember she called all of us. There was a, nobody had like group chat at the time. She was like calling people's landlines being like, which one of you snitched on me? And I, nobody, I didn't even realize to that To this I day, snitched. Margaret didn't know. No, she knows now. Can you imagine her life falls apart because of that very moment? Mm -hmm. It shattered her. Yeah. All she wanted was to one day own a McDonald's to work herself up from the window yep. to own owning it to management yep. to then owning one and, and all her dreams went out the window and yeah. now she's on fentanyl somewhere mobbing around massachusetts yes that's it's what happens of you yep 
but I remember just being such an oblivious little piece of shit and I felt like a rat and yeah and 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 thank God my father you know whipped me into shape and started telling me about how to be a criminal <laughs> <laughs> I remember the most this when you were saying that about McDonald's about the manager in the black shirt I got this vivid image this guy this guy Mark or Mike or something within that maybe it was Matt but he was my first manager and he had been 23 years old or whatever but I was 16 when I worked there or 15 and um, a guy in the window uh, one, uh, like a group of, of, of young guys came to the window and they called me a bitch and then I yelled back at them something sure. rude too and right. the manager grabbed me by the arm like a child. I'll never forget. He grabbed my arm like when you grab a kid under yeah, here, yeah. and he goes, and he goes, we don't, we we do not talk to customers that way. And I, and like a little bitch, I was like, I'm sorry. And I remember how diminutive it made me feel. Yeah. And I sat in the back window booth the rest of the night and I cried. Really? Because Matt yelled at me. Wow. Yeah, because I thought, what if I lose this job? Yeah. What if I lose the window job? And guess what, Matt? I don't need you anymore. I don't need your shit, and you don't ever touch me like that. Do you understand me, Matt? You don't ever touch me ever again like that. I'll, I'll, I won't, I won't ever put up with that kind of stuff. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, you know, be brave. <laughs> you don't do that to me, Matt. You don't do that to me. Be brave. Tell and Matt. He yeah. Because it's abuse. And you it's don't get to do that to me, Matt. And it's toxic. And it is abuse. And then he made me suck him off behind the fry cooker. <laughs> you hear that story too many times. <laughs> what if he made me? Bus driver shortage too? Forces Boston students to he take party a bus? in my ass. What is this? They take a party bus to, with the stripper pole? This is incredible. Bus driver shortage forces Boston students <laughs> to take a part. So bus driver shortage in Boston to Boston students taking potty bus equipped with stripper pole kid. Dude, that's so funny because I dropped Fucking my kid. My mom used to be on this bus, dude. I dropped my kid off at the school bus every single morning. If I, if that thing, if the, if the party stripper pole bus showed up with, to my corner, where I would get on the bus with my daughter. <laughs> I would just be like, we're going to have fun this trip. Is it trip. sweet putting her on the bus? It is, but it's is terrifying it because Why? I'm like, because I just I want to make sure my baby gets in and out of school and pick her up. So it's just like this like anxiety where you're like waiting, like did my kid get on the bus? What is it about our generation that's so protective of our kids in that regard that our, I parents, our parents? I know all three of us. I'm sure. I, Pimpy's a little bit young, well, much younger, but uh, but my parents didn't give a fuck. They didn't have cell phones, or it was no. Just but go, I mean that they were like, go, go get the bus. You're late for the fucking. It was never like a. I mean, maybe it was my parents were never like, oh, it? they was never, they were like, go, oh, you're going to be late. Get your shit. Go to the fucking bus. I know. And if the bus crashed or the bus driver was an alcoholic, which they all are, yeah. you know, my parents wouldn't have given a shit. They'd be like, well, that's what happens. You yeah, take whatever, the bus, dude, you die. Some, some kids die on the bus. move along. Just move it along. Did you ever get into fights on the bus? No. Well, I never took the school bus. I walked to school like a pussy. I never took a school bus. Did you once take a my school life. bus, Pimpy? No, no, I walked to school too. Really? You guys never had to take a bus? You had a school bus? Like I, that was your life? Yeah, I had a school bus. I mean, the only time I didn't have to take a school bus is when we were living in the city in downtown Chicago and I got, and I would, I could walk to school. But when we moved to the suburbs, then I always had a bus. You had to take a bus in the and suburbs. Like, did a lot of stuff, like did a lot of your fondest memories come from the school bus of school? Like what was, what was the school bus to school like or from school? Awesome. Like you, because you were. Dude, it was so cool. It, it, school, uh, getting you had no chaperone. No, getting on a school bus, dude, is the same as when you walk out to see a full crowd at a comedy club. Really? You're like looking at who's going to have the most fun with you. You're like deciding, you know, because they look at you and they know he's going to cause trouble. He's going to do something fun. Right. And you and you kind of give them the look of who you're going to fuck with and talk to. Who, wow. you're gonna say, who am I going to hit in the head? What buddy am I going to hit in the head? You know? Yeah. I would never picked on anybody. I was never a bully, but they always knew I would do something fun. I would throw something at the bus driver. I would throw something out the window. Wow. I would moon. I loved mooning, mooning out the back people, window. Yeah. Right, I would tuck my penis into my sack. I yeah. would do that. That's yep. funny. Yeah, I would tuck stick my penis your ball, between my legs. Stick your ball sack in your butthole. Poop it out. Poop it out. Fart it just out. Fart it I out. Would do just... that. Right. We would. We would. We would. We would, we would throw stuff. Me and a couple of friends would throw stuff at some of the other guys that we had beef with. You know. So was there ever a fist fight on the bus? I never got into a fight on the bus. I only got in fights off the. I only got fights on street on on ground level. And you were on the bus for a while, right? Like it'd be like an My hour. My bus rides were like at least 20, 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, because everybody has to make stop. But then you see where everybody lives. Would you make fun of people like, look at this shit house this kid has? Nah, because they drop you off at the corners of neighborhoods, so you didn't get dropped off in front of your. I never. I've seen those online, but we never got dropped off at your house. You got dropped off on a street intersection, and then you had to disperse to your neighborhood. Whatever it was. Yeah. So, so how, you never really saw. How far was your walk to the house from the bus stop? At any given time in my life, it was five minutes. 
It but after a while, walk. your parents didn't even pick you up from the bus. That they're like, all right, we'll just get home somehow. No, yeah, I, I, they never ever picked me. I, my parents, my parents both worked my whole life, so I never, like, I, there was no cookies on when I got home. You know, kids that no. had cookies. Did you have cookies on when you got home? No. Did, was mom there bake, making stuff? No, no, no. I was always jealous because we'd have friends that had like, come over, my mom made stuff when we got home. I thought that was insane. No, I was like, your mom, what has she been doing all day? Yeah, no, no. like it was so rude because sometimes I'd be like, what do you do? Yeah, <laughs> she's like, I'm a homemaker. I'm like, what do you mean the home's done? Yeah, they already made it. Yeah, I know. It's so I, and I was kind of mean when I was a kid. And I would say that to my mom. I'd be like, some of these moms don't even have jobs. That's yeah. lame. I know. Like, I, I didn't get it. I had no idea. I was like, what do they do? They sit around all day? Yeah, That's like, so stupid. It's, I know. And now, and now women are back at work being forced to go back to work. And what's happening? Our children are declining. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you know what I saw online? I saw a guy say, I saw a guy go, uh, he was at like a, you know, he was begging for trouble. He was going to a feminist rally and he said, if women make 70 cents on the dollar, if it's true that women make less, how come companies don't just hire all women? Smart. And this woman got so upset. She's like, I know what you did. I see what you're doing, and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> it, was so it was pretty funny, funny though, right? It was What's so he good. He was doing it to fuck around. Oh, so good. Yeah, yeah, it, was yeah. Just, it was just to poke the bear. <laughs> it was so good. Yo, I, 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 just got, I just got clapped at online what because happened? I put up a TikTok video. I put up a TikTok video. I did a stitch. You know what a stitch is? Um, where you, you like use another together. video yeah. and then you piece it right. And I don't really post TikToks of original content. I usually just put up stand-up clips or clips on the yeah, pod. Same. Well, Alicia Silverstone. Hot. Clueless. Uh, she put she put up a video, a sweet little video of her boy's first day at school. Okay. And he's kissing her. And he's kissing her on the mouth. He's a little boy. Mm-hmm. And he's kissing her a long time. And I made a simple, a simple video. It's a long kiss. And all I did was go like this. It cuts to me and I go, oh, no. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Let's see if you can see my TikTok. Yeah. Let's see if we can see the video. Yeah, it but it's, yeah, it's that one. Through one point. So look. Look at this. She's kissing him. She has great floors. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Just a long kiss. And then people are attacking and, you. And 1.4 million views later and people went Nuts. Let's. Can we read some of the comments? Well, uh, first of all, first of all, first of all, uh, one of the Baldwin kids was like, like, uh, was like, oh, you have to log in. Oh, damn it. Oh, here, but you, here, but I can tell you. But one of the Baldwin kids, Ireland the Baldwin. Baldwin, Ireland Baldwin. I don't know which Baldwin is she. Ireland Baldwin. Is that Justin Bieber's wife? No, that's Haley Bald. That's Haley Bieber. That's Haley or what is? She? Ireland Baldwin. That's her. She commented to me and said, "How is this wrong?" What's funny is I never said it was wrong. I never said anything about her, about it being bad. I made a joke and I said, "Oh, no," because yeah. it was too long of a kiss. That's it. And and the internet. But here's what's funny. You know what you know what happens on the internet after a certain amount of time. Then people here look Ireland Baldwin. How on earth is this wrong? God. But hey, you know what happens after a certain amount of time? Then people come on your side and they go. First of all. A few people go, he's a comedian. It's a joke. He's making a joke. That's and then it. at some point, people go, this shit is gross. He's right. And then you're like, oh my God. Yeah. You like started these two totally different wars that yeah, have nothing to do yeah, with each and other. Ju- and you just, that's my favorite when you put something up like that. And you I don't come back at anybody. You just let them kill each other. They did. They yeah. lit each other on fire. Yeah. It's am- it, dude, it's so funny. People are like, uh, stop, stop normalizing child pedophilia. And then people will be like, this is, you're sexualizing. Dude, it's amazing to watch people go back and forth. Yeah. I'm just sitting on the shitter, smiling, watching. And all Could go you down? imagine commenting on a on anything like ever and taking it serious? Could you imagine commenting what kind of a sad loser on anything takes a TikTok serious and thinks that this is like a statement? By the way, let it be known. I will say as an aside, I have nothing against Ireland Ball. I mean, um, Alicia Silverstone. It was a joke about a clip. Who cares? That being said, Come kiss your kid. That being said, she's known. Publicly, she's talked about it. You can Google it. She has some weird practices with her kid. She breastfed him till he was like ten. Yeah. She fucking bird baby, bird baby bird fed him. Do you know this? Oh, where she would chew up the food and spit it in his oh, mouth. I know it's weird. It's just, I mean, to each their own. But it's just. What like, is this? What's iced tea? Oh, iced oh, tea. And they did it till five and a half. No, it's not okay. Yeah, no, no, that's not no. You raise your kid how you want to raise your kid. But don't let him suck your tits till don't he's six. Don't let him suck your tits till you're six. That's nuts, dude. Yes. And don't spit the food that you're chewing into their mouth. Uh, by the don't way, you, do that. You, you can also Google. She openly talked about doing that. And then it also said that how a bunch of doctors were like, that's really bad. That's, yeah. that's genuinely bad. The it's bacteria also, transfer is very bad you're, yeah. when you're doing that. Because when you're chewing food, you're releasing different bacteria in your mouth. 
and it's getting in your child who has a developmental immune system, it's very yeah. bad. So, so why is your name Alicia? Just call yourself Alicia. <laughs> What's Alicia? Hi, my name is Andrew. Dude. There she is. I have nothing against this girl. No, I just think I like it's so her. weird how they like. Is that they, Alicia Silverstone? That's Alicia. Well, again, she's gonna be, she's gonna spit it right in his mouth. And look at look at them talking about how. But cute here's the it is. problem online. Now, what happens online is people are like, "You don't get to shame mothers," and it's like, "No, dude, I just think this is unusual as fuck." Yeah, I mean, sorry, so it's now, unusual. So, and what's the point of it though? Like, how are they saying? It's his favorite. It's his favorite. And mine. He, literally he literally crawls, crawls across the room to attack my mouth with. Yeah, no, thank you, man. No, he, yeah, well, oh, gross. It well, yeah, because he doesn't know any better. She just spits it right now. Watch, watch the sex fetish this kid's gonna grow up with now. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He, yeah, he, just, he, he, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be on on your mom's house live eating shit <laughs> on a video. <laughs> yeah, it's just insane, dude. I look, and here's the thing: is like again. I don't, I don't dislike her or her practices or her. No, whatever you want to do. It's so funny to make a joke on a small comment and for the internet to go. <sighs> yeah, because it's wild. You're like, dude, are you okay? It ties into though this unemployment. People have so, so much, much time. time on their hands. Do you think that they're Get doing a job? This? They're not doing this in China because China, they're putting their heads down. They're working. They're making new viruses. Do you want to move to China with me? Yes. Seriously. I double dog dare us to move to China. Honestly, dude, I want nothing more than for my children to be raised in Shanghai <laughs> because those are where the winners are. They're winning the war, and I think that the Chinese can. For, oh, can we even move? We to can China get an right F now? visa. We could get an F visa. Which What's means, an F visa? We'll go up there. Oh, it said that one says volunteers, interns, participants in culture exchange programs. We can get an F visa. Allows foreigners to stay in China for up to six months. Then we got we got to marry somebody who's Chinese. Who can we marry that's Chinese? Are any of our friends Chinese? Um, do I have any Chinese friends? Google, does he have any Chinese? No, I'm does Chris Stefan have Chinese friends? <laughs> Let's see. I don't think I have any Chinese friends in F visa. What does that stand for? A fucking visa? <laughs> <laughs> well, so look. Well, so if there's any Chinese fans of ours out there, and if you're willing to marry me or Chris, please do it so we can get Chinese citizenship because we would love to revoke yes. our American citizenship yes. and move to Join China. Join the winners. And if gay marriage is legal in China, I'll marry a guy. No Fine, I don't care. By the way, I'm already red. I'm down for the red. I'm down for the red. I'm already red, baby. Change anything, dude. That their flag is red. I know that, that's what I'm saying. China's flag is red. They're Republican. That's what that means. Is that what it means? Yes. I had People no think idea. They're communist. They're Republican. Com um, are you are you saying if you're a Republican, you're communist, or if you're a communist, you're Republican? No, if you're a Democrat, you're communist. Ah, that's it. But that's interesting. Yes, that's interesting. Yeah, it is weird. It is weird that uh, blue bean, or as I call them, Democrats. <laughs> <laughs> what did that dog the bounty hunter say? That so, dog the bounty hunter is fucking what classic, to him? dude. You should get him on the pod. He filmed outside his family home of uh, Gabby Patino's. Oh, oh man, Jesus. Does Gabby Patino thing. You know this story is insane. I don't really know the whole story. Okay, if I'm so, being honest, I know. So I know Gabby Patino. Unfortunately, her body was found. She died. Brian Laundry is missing. He's the guy that they think killed He's the fiance that He's killed her. He's the fiance. But a week before, what a lot of people think on the internet now, is a week before she went missing, uh, people, like one of those like hippie communes Commune? in Utah, two people got murdered there. That's unsolved. They were seen there the day before, Brian and his wife. So they think maybe he didn't do it. Maybe the hippie commune people did. No, no, no. What they think is, is that the hippie, he murdered the hippie commune people for whatever reason she found out maybe was he had to kill her. killed her and now he's on the run and they think his family this is what the internet thinks they think his family didn't report because Gabby did not get reported missing until 10 days after she was probably dead because the family was like oh she's, she's, with, her she's husband. with her boyfriend like we don't right. check in with her every day she's a grown woman this guy Brian Laundry, got to the house and then nobody reported him missing for 10 days for another 10 days so they think he flew to Canada or Mexico got out of the country because nobody his name wasn't in any database no, right. there were no problems and they think his family the family you know harbored him and got him out and he's in another country right now and there's nowhere to be found that's what wow. that's what they think wow what do you think I what do I think well I'll tell you what I think he's right here he's coming on the podcast he's Brian the hey no. oh my god <laughs> no I think I think that I I what I do think is I think that he killed Gabby Petito. I don't know enough to say that it's involved with that Utah commune. I think he killed Gabby Petito 100%, and I think he killed himself and his body. Oh, you think he's not, gone? I think his body's not found yet. We did a, me and Homeless Pimp did a Chrissy Chaos once, so we found out if you're in Yosemite, which is not far away, you kill yourself, you, your body dissolves in acid. They'll never find you. So I think maybe he jumped in that Yosemite acid. Well, if you jump in, right, yeah, if you do, if you purposely fall into that, I guess. that's how you kill yourself? You jump in a pool of dissolved 
acid that dissolves your body. Kind of cool. It's kind of superhero-y in some way. You know, maybe you come, what if you live, what if you, what if you jump in and you don't die and then you get superpowers? Oh my God. What if you just, you jump in and only the bottom half of your body dissolves. Right. And then, now you're, but you're still alive. Then you and get now to, you, just, and you wobble oh, you're around. Now you're just legless. Yosemite man. Yosemite And you just roll down the hills. Yeah, dude. Yosemite Sam, who do you think he voted for? I think Yosemite Sam, quite honestly. Yeah. I, I dead serious. I think he was a libertarian. Yeah. I think he said that. You know what's crazy is there's a lot of articles coming out now that Yosemite Sam was trans. Really? Mm-hmm. Google did it, I, Yosemite did, Sam. Did trans. I tell you? You know, I told you I voted for Caitlyn Jenner in the remove Gavin Newsom. I told Bobby that on our by show. By the way, Gavin Newsom. I said won remove him and votes. get Caitlyn in there. Yeah. And, and you know what Bobby said to me? That how can you how can you want the Republicans to win and remove? Uh, Gavin Newsom and I said first of all you voted a straight white male to stay in office I wanted Caitlin in there because I wanted change these these all of these people being like yo the Republicans are corrupting they kept a white straight guy in there and Gavin yes. Newsom instead of putting Caitlin in or Larry Elder who's black so you know what you're racist you did this you did this <laughs> well, how did Gavin Newsom get more votes he got more votes. Dude, he pulled out the big guns. You guys aren't in California, so no, you don't see- because he rigged the election. You don't see this on the ads, on the TV ads every single night, dude, honestly. Every night was Obama, was, was um, uh, 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 what's her name? Uh, Hillary? No, why can't I think of, uh, she ran for president too. What's wrong with me? Seth, uh, Elizabeth Warren, dude, Pocahontas. They were on. They were on the news, the late night news, doing ads to keep him in office. I mean, look at this. They brought out the big guns. Oh my and this God. was on like I didn't see one ad against For Larry Elder. No, but this was. I mean, I did see one Larry Elder. He ran it himself. Well, let me ask you this: because but this guy, but but Newsom got her. Obama, he got all sorts of people if, to do, do it. Do you think he deserves to be back as governor? You think he's horrible, dude? You know what's so funny about this whole thing? You know, they 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 leaned on this idea that like oh, the Republicans. You're letting the Republican narrative control getting him out. Meanwhile, Republicans and Democrats alike, all of us, were mad at this guy because in the middle of the fucking pandemic, he goes and has dinner. Dude, he goes to French Laundry and has dinner when he's telling everyone, stay in your house. This is at the height of it. You can Google it. And everyone in this state was pissed off. And for some reason, we all forgot about he disobeyed all these fucking laws while he was while, while he was telling people not to do it. And then he goes on the news and he laughs about it. He was like, oh, well, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. It's like, dude, people were dying and he was yelling from the rooftops. Shame on you for going out. Shame on you for operating business. And he did it. it the irony was staggering. But what they did was trickery. They did wizardry. So then when it was time to recall him, he was like, oh, what? You're going to let the Republicans control you? So they did this mind manipulation of people. Right. And he's still in. By the way, all governors are bullshit. Right. They're bullshit. bullshit. Yes. They aren't real. But, they, you, but you, what you saw in the pandemic is governors have more power than fucking than they presidents. Should. Then they should. Yeah. Look at you guys as governor. Look at that. Look at that cockamamie stuff Cuomo. over there. That's all bozo shit over there. Governors should have no power. They should have the key to the city, and they give it to someone when they open up a bakery. That's you know what it. I mean? Yeah. That's it. You don't get. You shouldn't be able to control shit. Yeah, Cuomo. I mean, he is. You want to talk about hate? I mean, people. People in New York hate, hate that guy. Him, huh? Hate him. Like no. And but he, these guys are so egotistical and crazy. He's gonna run for governor again. He'll win. And he might win again. He'll win because this, that's what I mean is like, I think even when people are mad, they don't vote again. They just get pissed. And they, By the way, if everything was smooth, you would have nothing to bitch about. Yeah. So I think it's people a, like a, people yeah, like, like it that, an issue. And yeah, I don't want to vote. It's like it's so much to fucking have thing. to go vote for president. I got to vote for the governor. In here, we pour whiskey. Hey, since you're listening to the show right now, I think it's safe to say that you love listening to podcasts. Well, you're going to find a ton of binge-worthy podcasts, including mine, on Amazon Music. If you don't uh, if you don't know about Amazon Music, you're messing out. They have more than 10 million free podcast episodes to listen to, but Amazon Music isn't just for listening to podcasts. They have thousands of music stations and top playlists to stream for free, totally for free. And no matter what you're listening to, you can go to Hands Free with Alexa. Play me my favorite song, Alexa. And she might. And she might. If you're like me and you want your music on demand and free, you have to try Amazon Music Unlimited. They sent me a subscription for this, and I tried it out because I have never used it before. And I got to tell you, unlimited access to over 75 million songs, podcast music videos, and way, way more. Um, it's pretty incredible. You can listen to a song anywhere, any, anywhere, anytime, offline, on the go with unlimited skips. Um, I tried it out. I was very, very impressed. I got to tell you, user interface, very nice. That's a big thing for me. If it's not easy to use and poke around in, I'm out. Um, Amazon Music was actually very efficient, and I did like it. And also, they had some songs on there that sometimes are harder to find on other user apps that I'm not going to discuss because they hide it. I don't know if it's licensing. I don't know what it is, but Amazon's got a grip on that. Uh, if you've never tried Amazon Music Unlimited, now is a great time. Uh, for a limited time, 
New customers can try Amazon Music Unlimited for free for 30 days. For free, huh? No credit card required. Just go to Amazon Music. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Just go to Amazon.com slash WG. I apologize. That's Amazon.com slash WG to try Amazon Music Unlimited for free for 30 days. Amazon.com slash WG. Renews automatically cancel anytime. Terms apply. Go get your music now with Amazon Music Unlimited. You won't be disappointed. I promise. How much is that doggy in the window? Arf, arf. Hey, man, if you got a pup at the house like me, you know my little cupster pupster, uh, you got to try Embark, man. Embark was uh, pretty impressive to me. Um, Embark is a system where you can find out everything about your pup. You can find out the breed. Uh, you can find out their health. Uh, and you got to try this breed and health kit. Um, it is it is pretty amazing to do these DNA tests. You find out what your dog needs, uh, you know, what it should be eating. Uh, it's, you know, average lifespan. They have all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, 72% of people don't know what kind of dog they have. I was that kind of guy. Uh, now I absolutely know what seven different breeds she is. She is a mutt from the streets. But I love her to death. Um, and you want to know what your dog is? You should look it up. Uh, the reason for that is, by the way, you can find out what allergies they have. You can find out the things that they um, shouldn't be eating and shouldn't be around, uh, which I think is important because I fed my dog a bunch of nonsense at the beginning. I was just throwing kibble on the floor. I was like, come on, eat it. And then I learned you had to put it in a bowl. That was something I, I should have known from the jump. But it is incredible, man. Um, Embark, uh, you're going to find out uh, the, the canine DNA relative finder if you want, uh, if you're finding out uh, the history of the Papa Doodle in your house. Look, we all love our pets. And if you really love your dog, you need to learn your dog's inner secrets with Embark. It's the highest rated dog DNA test right now. Embark has an offer uh, for their health and breed health kit for our listeners. Uh, go to EmbarkVet.com to get free shipping and save $50 off your Embark breed and health kit with promo code WHISKEY, as always. Visit EmbarkVet.com and use promo code WHISKEY to save $50 today. Find out the past of your pup right now. Ginger. I like gingers. You know what? I just realized that was a Freddie Mercury poster behind your head. I've been looking at it the whole time, and I have no idea who that was. It was Freddie Mercury. I dude. thought that was Joe DeRosa. I couldn't well, I, even yeah. tell. With his big teeth, deep throat, the microphone. His big teeth eating the microphone? Yes. Here we go. What and, is this? And, uh, anger is an emotion everyone experiences, but some people develop an addiction of being a state of anger, become angerholic, because it's the only emotion they know how to express when they have an uh, unmet need. 32% have a close friend or family member who has trouble controlling their anger. I believe it, dude. I believe it. I'm not an I anger. do. You're an angerholic. You're not angry all no, the time. No, no, but I've I've tr I have trouble I have trouble sometimes curbing anger when I know I shouldn't be angry about stuff. It snowballs. Right. If one thing that look the house is getting fixed right now. I'm getting my house fixed. What are you doing? Knocking out the whole fucking master bathroom because they had coke walls. They had dude. They have I have. I'm not kidding. They have black marble floors that go to the ceiling. Floor to ceiling. Black in your marble. master bathroom. Yeah. Well, don't, we don't say master anymore. Sorry. We don't say master anymore. Sorry. We in say. Your we say owner's bathroom. In, your owner's, in my bathroom. owner's bathroom. Yes. yes. But also, we knocked it down, and as they're fixing stuff, the water's getting turned on and off, and we're having problems with the water and the pipes and all this shit, and the fucking, in the kitchen, big leak underneath the um, dishwasher, so I had to fix all this shit. And Watch how many of your fans are going to message you and say that they can do it, they can fix your house. Come over and fix it. 100%. I don't give a fuck. Would you let a fan come in and know where you live just to fix your house on Absolutely a good deal? not. Not even a million fucking <laughs> uh. years. No, you know what though? But it's it's just been a nightmare fixing stuff. So I've been getting angry about small stuff around the house because I feel like it's all compiling, dude. It's yes. like one thing. So we have a tree. We have an oak tree. We have a huge oak tree. It's over 100 years old and they're protected by the state of California. So there's an oak tree and it's on my property, but it leans over to my neighbor. So I have to fucking trim it every year and you have to pay for an arborist to come. because you, you have to pay. 100%. And wow. I have to pay for an arborist. You can't just have a guy what cut it. What about if you pay for an arsonist? Well, I tried. I want him to burn it down. Trust me. It's you a fifty thousand dollar look at actually look at how much the fine is uh for, for cutting down an oak tree in Southern California. So I can't rip it out even though the roots are growing, moving the foundation of my home and in the pipes. You cannot. Cannot. Look at what the fine if we're cutting down an oak tree three hundred and forty seven thousand dollars for trimming a tree without approval. Three hundred and forty seven thousand. What a random thousand. number. That's insane. Because that probably is the exact number of like whenever they made the rule, whatever the senator's house that he'd left on his loan was. So California law protects loan. native trees, including oak trees. The state of California bans the removal of certain trees, including oak. Homeowners have the right to remove the trees that pose a health or safety risk. Right. But you have to petition 
and you have to prove that it pro- proves. So prove that it's a safety risk. Why don't you say that it's getting the foundation in the water? is the only one that we can prove so far, and I need and it needs to be a certain dude. This is crazy. You can look this up. It needs to be a certain level of movement per year that isn't that is unnatural, right? Like foundation in your home is going to move over time, particularly in Southern California because of earthquakes and sh- and the right. earth shifting and the way the soil is. So you have to prove to them it's an exacerbated number of shifting of the, and it's because of only the tree, not because of life and How time. can you prove it? I don't know. <laughs> Let's move your house a little bit. You want to move the whole fucking Let's house? Let's get in there. I've been working out a little bit. I got a lot of fucking weight. Show in my me ass. your muscles. Oh, lift up your shirt and show me your muscles. Lift up the sleeve at least and show me the muscles. <laughs> All right. Let's move my house. Let's do it. Move that house. Move that house. Um, I, that is bullshit. There's so many things when you own a home, these little freaking things that just n- n- nag at you. For no, it's like, what, thing. but, but I, you know, that, like Pimpy, do you live in an apartment? I live in my parents' old house that they left. You let, your parents left you a house? Yes. Did your parents both die? No, 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 no. My they just left you a house. My dad has a broken neck. How do you break his neck? That? His funny is that? He was a He's trying to suck his own dick? Oh, yeah. I wish. That's why it's Santino. Everyone's putting out a fire. He's trying to blow himself. Wouldn't that be <laughs> yeah. funny? He broke his neck. He was a firefighter. What was he doing? <laughs> putting out a fire. Now he's sucking his own dick. Dad, we got to get control of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Santino's like doing back extension exercise. He's like, I have a herniated disc. And Pimp's dad's like, you pussy. I have a broken neck. You said your dad's in pain every minute of the day. He has no disc in his back. Zero. Damn. He just collapsed. How, like how did he break his neck? Uh, there was a building collapse. Holy I mean, shit. Yeah, when he was an active duty firefighter. A, pro- a probie, so they didn't give him benefits. A probie? So wait a minute. So, he so his first year? Does he not get paid by the state then now? Oh my Maybe God. Maybe disability. Oh, yeah. yeah, but disability is not enough. I mean, yeah. not for that. That's yeah. Damn, dude, that's terrible. He's an angerholic. Your or father? No. Oh, he's an angry the dude. The guy yeah. who breaks his neck, I think he'd be bummed. Like he, I've yeah. seen him knock people out in the grocery store. Like, he'll How just funny hit is that? people. That's <laughs> getting knocked out by a guy who has no disc in his back? <laughs> While you're just in the, well, you're in the fucking the fruits and vegetable aisle, and oh, this guy just, just get, beats the shit out of you? Yeah. All you're trying to get is a couple of Serrano peppers, and this guy just comes and fucking works your face yeah, with, with a, a broken, broken neck. neck. <laughs> just fucking <laughs> slugging you out. Dude, yeah, good yeah, for your dad. Your face is getting smashed off parsley. You fucking dillweed. Boom. So wait a minute, your old man cracked his neck and then they left you the house because they moved somewhere else? No, so they ended up buying a foreclosure in the Hamptons. Whoa. And now they also had a baby at 50, so they're raising a 13 How funny is that? He's got like a 12-year-old sister. Yeah. Whoa, baby at 50 is impressive. With no disc in his back. Your dad can shoot. A broken neck disc, dad? That's amazing. It's pretty nuts. That's like an NBC show. This fall on NBC, (laughs) broken neck dad. Get over here. (laughs) That's incredible Just to think about, though. Your your old man. I mean, what? And then so after after that happened, did your mom start working? Did she ever work? She was a school nurse, but yeah. then he like ran a construction company. Holy shit! Hello, yeah. nurse. Hey, hey, hey. No, we don't do that anymore. Okay, Sorry. those are respected members of the community that help people through the COVID price, I crisis. I was talking about male nurses. Oh right, me yes. too. <laughs> Look at this. Anderson Cooper won't leave son in inheritance. You don't have a son. You gay. <laughs> 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 Wait a minute. Anderson Cooper won't leave his son an inheritance just like, just his, like mom. his mom because his parents didn't. His mom. We've didn't. spoken about this. I'm not going to leave my kids any of my money. No? You know, my grandmother... <laughs> oh, my God. Your grandma's dead? It's my grandma's birthday today. Let's call her. <laughs> oh I'm, d- I'm dead serious. She's I, single? I'm dead serious. She, you know, she's been single for a while. She's, she, it's her birthday today. It's also my childhood best friend's birthday, Sean. But hey, Sean. I, called, I talked to my grandmother yesterday for the record. Um, it's a happy birthday, But Grams. it's her birthday. It's her 91st birthday. Wow. Yeah. And you know what's funny about her? Is I'm telling her to start spending her money because I'm like, oh. Hello. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetheart. How's my sugar pop? Happy birthday, babe. Thank you. Thank you. I've had such a wonderful day. What are you doing to celebrate? Well... I'm at the Botanic Gardens now with Marty. Love it. Love the Botanic Gardens. Well, well, well. listen, you guys enjoy the Botanical Gardens. I just wanted to call yeah. you and tell you that I love you so much. And happy birthday. Did you get my card? Um, it got stolen. I, I put I put 10 grand in there, cash. Oh, my God. Oh, man, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. No, you shouldn't, shouldn't have done that, sweetheart. Yeah, it comes and it goes. That's the way it goes. <laughs> well, I love you, and I'll talk. I'll, I'll call you tomorrow to talk. Enjoy the botanical gardens, okay, babe? Okay, all right, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Love you, Toots. Okay. Love you. Bye, babe. Bye.
Love. I mean, what a great grandma. And she had a Chicago accent. She goes, you shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Yeah. She's the best, dude. She's so fucking cool. Yeah, she, but here's what's, here's what's so funny. I started to convince her to go spend her money. Good. Every because I talked to her. I talked to Marty. I talked to her a lot. Her, my one of my mom's brothers. Oh. One of my mom's nineteen Irish brothers. But I tell I tell her all the time. I go, Nana, s- spend the money, and she's and she's like, Why? Oh, honey, no, I don't need to buy that. And I'm like, Yeah, you do, because you're not. What are you saving it for? Don't your kids are all grown? Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them, dude. Fuck them all. So I told her, we're tr- I'm trying to get her in a Maserati. I took her to the dealership. Seriously? Yeah, to yeah. look at a Jahibli. She got her fake tits. I, she doesn't want them. <laughs> she doesn't want them. <laughs> we tried. Could you imagine? Who's the oldest woman to get fake tits? Yeah. Can we find that? <laughs> a 90 year old woman gets fake tits? <laughs> Who's the oldest woman to get fake tits or it has? Timmy, Timmy Jean Lindsay, born 1932, American Housewives, the first person in the world to undo plastic surgery. Oh, no. She was the first woman to get oh, it. Oh, yeah. Shows 84. up her breast implants. Delighted by her dress wow, implant. Wow, she is hot. I would bang her. She's hot. What's Dude, her name? She looks is- like if George Washington had a tits. Her name is, uh, 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 what's her name? Poolside. Daddy? Huh? Marie? Marie Kowal, what does he even say? Marie Kolstad in, of oh, California. Oh, Cali. She's out here. Of course it's from California. Where else would it be from? She spent 5,000 pounds, they say. It is a British publication, obviously, to procedure. 30, 36B to 38D, living her best life. Yummy, 38D you know, good for her. Look nice. at her sipping down that, that uh, pineapple jizz Mai Tai. Oh, pine, she's a swinger. She pineapple. is a swinger. I know, that's how you know. That's there what it is. is. Wow, look at her, a nice face. Dude, that's so funny. Dude, your grandma, by the way, that should, yeah, I mean, it's, look at that. This look guy's at, just grabbing her Grabbing boob. her fake tits. I your love it. Your grandma's the best. I mean, wasn't that like so like heartwarming just to that listen to? Amazing. It was amazing. Like it was she, like the how, cutest how, grandma. How old is she? 91 years wow. old. And let me tell you something, dude. Her faculties are intact. Yo, I was going to say, she's, she's having a better day than we are. She's, and she's out. And she's fast as lightning. She cracks jokes all the time. You know what's something that I rec- realized too? I just thought about it as soon as your grandma answered the phone. Because like when, you know, even us, you know, when they're like, like, how's your birthday? You're like, ah, you just start complaining. She at 91 years old is like, I'm having the best day. She is. That's why she's lived to 91. Because she's like, I'm happy. Now I have yeah. a question. Racist? Of course. Okay. Yes. Yeah, oh my God. Is she Good racist? Grandma. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's how you live a happy, fulfilled life. You can't. Stay safe. <laughs> she, she, no, she, you know what's so funny is she's, she's so like, um, in tune with what's going on in the world. Like she doesn't involve herself in any of it. She like, but, but she's aware. It's not like, you know, you talk to old people sometimes and they're like, they're not aware of what's going on. She's very aware, but she's, she's too, she's having too much fun to give a fuck anymore. I think you reach an age when you're like, I don't give a fuck. What do you think? What do you think her, her secret to like her long life and happy? Like this may sound corny. You like, what do you observe from her knowing her? Oh, oh, honestly, like is she always happy. The, and- the, the few things that I know from my grandmother that I sh- that I have the same thing. She has FOMO. You know, my me and my mom and my grandmother, we have the exact same bi- biological need to be out and about. I'm not a homebody. I don't like being lazy. I am obsessed with going and doing stuff. She's the same way. They used to say my grandma. They'd be like, oh, she could sit on the curb and watch a dog fight. She just loves. She loves being out and doing something. Does she eat healthy? She does, but she also eats fun. But you know what? I'll tell you the tips of my grandmother's life that I think that have made her does last she eat long. pineapples? She does. No, but I'll tell you the things that she does. I'm dead <laughs> serious. She's she's always had, always had, um, she has Manhattans and she always has had like one drink a day, okay? Really? Sometimes she won't, she'll have a day where she doesn't, but she'll have a drink and it's not binge drinking. Just calm down. It's just having a drink. I think it's healthy to have a drink. Once in a while, you should have a drink. No binging, but it's good to have some. And she's done that since I've known her. Now she's 91. She still has Manhattans at, in the afternoon. Wow. She Sometimes too when she's looking to fucking rage. Yeah. And then, and she eats small meals. That's, it's not, sometimes she eats unhealthy shit, but she eats small meals. She, so I think it's not overeating. You can eat something unhealthy. Just eat a little bit of it. You right. don't need a whole pizza. Eat a couple slices and then just be like, I'm not going to do it anymore. That's right. it. Right. Show restraint and discipline. Right. So she eats small meals, has a drink, and she walks all the time. Wow. She's been walking. She would walk. I mean, my grand- my grandfather, when he was alive, he would swim every single morning. He'd go down to the Y and he would swim. And when it was summer, he'd swim outside. When it was winter, he would swim indoors. And he lasted a long time. Cancer fucking got him. Got him. Got him. But, but honestly, that's because he was a firefighter and smoked cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's, what do you fucking... Of he was course. smoke at the office. And he still he lived into the his 70s or 80s. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so her secret to me is that she always walked. She walks she, until she physically started to not be able to, but she would walk everywhere. Wow. So it was like walking, eating small portions, and having a drink. I For think her. those are her, her little tiny secrets. I love you, Grandma, man. She's my little sweetheart, dude. She, she's Get my- her on the pod. 
I would, but she's a little bit bigger than this. She's selling good tickets. She doesn't need. I don't think she needs the promo. Yeah, what I'm does being she think honest. Of Bobby Lee when she's like, "Oh, my son," because I told her. She I, say my- I said, "I said, you know, Nana, I'm starting a podcast with with uh, my friend Bobby Lee," and she goes. Oh, Robert Lee sounds like a nice boy, a Robert E. Lee person. Yes. I said, well, Nana, yeah. unfortunately, he's Korean, and the phone went silent for about 20 to 30 minutes, and I just wow. waited. I wanted to wait. Yeah. I could hear her breathing, and I, and, and I said, is everything okay? And she said, your grandfather fought in the Korean War, so yeah. do what you need to do. Yeah. And tell me when it's been done. Yeah. So look, we're yeah. doing 250 episodes, and then I'm going to kill him live on the show. Live on the show, Robert Lee. In 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 memory of my grandfather. I, I never do even realized right his name is Robert Lee. It's actually not. His legal name is Bobby, unfortunately. But I introduce every time at the comedy store. I either introduce him, or when he brings me up, I always go, give it up for Robert E. Lee, a direct <laughs> descendant of Robert E. Lee. <laughs> every single time. I ha- That's like, and, what is- like and, and, and he, in the back of the room, he does something, and then we do a bit, and he'll come up on stage, and he'll show his butthole, or we'll fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who, do you, who do you bring on the most wherever you get up that you have a good, the best rapport with? Who do I bring? Do New York guys joke when they bring each other on? We do, but you know what? LA guys... It's become more of a thing, and I love it. Like, it feels good to shit on each other a little bit. Like, Jesselnik, Jesselnik's so fun whenever he brings me on. He, this just last, last week, he brought me on, and he goes, this next guy is incredible. You're going to love him. Probably one of the best out right now. It's, damn. Oh, no. <laughs> He's not as good as me. I do know that. <laughs> he does podcasting? I don't know. Not Bill Burr, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and I was like, re- the first time I heard it, it wrecked me. I was dying Wait, laughing. Was the audience dying laughing? Oh, too? they loved it. Yeah. They loved it. Because yeah. he actually did the credits of my podcast. That's what he did. He goes, he's on Bad Friends, Whiskey Ginger. What is it? And he's searching for fun. Yeah. Not Bill Burr. Got me good. It was a good, it fucking, the kid is good. The Jess kid is good. I no, like he's great. But I like a little bit of rapport. Then they know that we love each other. Yeah, then it's like all fun and games. Yeah, New York, it's kind of... I don't want to say it's not like that. Well, you guys have in LA that Supernova show, which that even I remember I brought Whitney Cummings up once. And it's just like in the moment fun. You're, you're like, this girl just got out of a psychiatric ward. Yeah, all that. Because yeah. we don't do the pass the mic thing. Oh, see, I... I, I which I wish we shotgunning did. Shotgunning is the best. Yeah. I highly disagree with host. Hosting is good for a weekend show like you what you're yeah. doing. But when you're doing tag team in the city... So much fun. Tag team. There's no... No need to have someone come up and fuck up the rhythm and leave. Get out of here. No, I'll get off and I'll bring up the next guy. It's because they're riding your wave. And then when the, that's what the comedy store has been doing since its inception. Uh, she always thought, uh, we, uh, um, Oh, is there not a host at all in any comedy store shows? No, there's no hosting unless it's a bought outside third party show. You know, so if I go to the, the big room on a Saturday, and it's room. all you big guys there. Yeah. You're all passing the mic. Yeah. There was never been a host. No. Wow, I didn't know that. I never no. realized that. She didn't like it like that. She, Which she, is, I kind of like it like that. I kind of like the pass the mic. Mitzi was, Mitzi was big on, you use your energy to cheer, transfer the energy. You know, don't bring it down. She's right. Pipe up the next guy or girl and make sure that the introduction makes them get excited because you're giving love to the next thing. And by the way, it's something that I think every club should have. A host it, is like just a reset that stinks. But it's a stink reset. It's no, like you're a, right. It's, you're a, right. it's a weird speed bump. Because now you're relying on if that host is not good, you're fucked with them the whole night. But even if they are the, good, yeah. why not just let the rhythm of the last person? And by the way, the best thing about the comedy store that, that has that that I always loved, if the guy or girl before you bombed, then you got something to talk about right yeah. away. Then it's a bonding moment. If they did great, you get to ride the wave. If they know you and they show you a lot of love, then they see the reciprocation. Then they know that they're friends, and that's intriguing. If they, if you're not friends, then you learn how to do the thing. I like past. I never even thought about the past. The mic. It does teach you. There's people that I brought up that I'm not fans of. There's a there's one person I'm thinking in particular. I don't like this person at all. Right. But am I mean? No. I do the professional fucking thing. Yeah. I put on the suit and I go, hey. Yeah. This next comic you're going to love, they've done da 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 give it up, so so-and-so. You do the right thing. Right. It teaches you to be a little bit of a professional because sure. we're brats anyway. Yeah. We get paid to, to be funny, so it's like yeah. sometimes you get to be a pro. It's very interesting. Yeah, I, I, like I think it should be instituted across the board. I, want to I think the seller should do that. We By the way, when I go to New York, I'm going to come by and I'm going to do a bunch of spots at the cellar. I'm, co- I'm coming to New York November oh. 14th. I'm doing Town Hall. For the New York Comedy Festival, West. I'll be there for New York Comedy Festival. Um, and I'm going to come and I'm going to stay at your house. And you know, I know you think I'm My kidding. My Staten Island house. Yeah, you could sleep with T.T. Jerry. 
Oh, okay. I'll get a hotel. Yeah. No, no, no. What? Oh, why? No, no. She Should we do a series? You. Can we do a series with TT and, and Tito Santino? Yes, yes, yes. Seriously. That Tito, would, Tito and TT. Of like me having a sleepover? Yes. No, she would love it. She would, fu- I guarantee you, the blowjob TT would give you, you'd leave your wife for. Does she have teeth? No. Barely. That's the best. Yeah, she won't remove them. She's got, especially on the sides. A little She's bit got of gummies. Big open holes. Yeah. She lost them to crack. She lost, you're doing crack. How did crack get them? What do you mean? Do you just always lose teeth when you smoke crack? Yeah, Are you able to smoke crack and not lose teeth? No, crack and meth, because I think what it actually does is it wears away at the enamel. Enamel. The teeth, but then also you just don't, you know, you're not the cleanest. But she smells clean. It'd be good to be a dentist in a, in a crack neighborhood. That's a good business. Should we make an app for so that? so much work. Crack dental? Look at that teeth and drugs. The reason is, I think it is. I think you're right. I think it is the enamel that does it, start to no, wear. No, it definitely breaks down a chemical in your teeth, but also I don't think do, you brush. Do, do they? Does it just naturally fall out, or do you pull them out? Is it like they also get to a point when you have to pull them? I out? I think you pull them out to sell them. I for think more it's crack. like when you're a little kid. Yeah, and you want to get it out bad. Isn't that so funny? The moment that you're smoking crack, and the moment that one tooth just falls out. Is that like kind of like when you're a kid and it falls out, and you get to put it under your crack pillow and yeah. hope a crackhead comes Aww. and. The little tooth fairy. Your, what if what that? How funny would that be? If you're a crackhead, you smoke rock and a tooth falls out. You put it under your pillow in the fucking trap house, and a crackhead comes in the middle of the night and leaves you a rock. Takes your tooth and it leaves you a rock. Yeah, like a little sweet. That's gift. so funny. TT Jerry's the tooth fairy for crackheads. The crack fairy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's film it. Let's just film it. Let's That's film it. Such a good bit. That's yeah. so funny. So funny. I love TT it. TT goes around leaving little crack rocks in exchange for teeth. <laughs> That's so cute. It's your cute. All right, listen. Love I love you. you. I, I love want to you. thank you so dearly. I want to actually thank more than you, the pimpy, the homeless pimpy, the king, the god, the thick can cocked god over there, because he is the the love of my life outside of you. I know you're you. primary, but I do love seeing him, and I love coming I down. Love I'm glad so you much. came to California. You're on tour. Go see Chrissy Chaos. Uh, go to uh, Christy Comedy page, ChristyComedy.com. ChristyComedy.com. I will be, this weekend, I mean, I mean, uh, we've added a show at Jurgles in Pittsburgh. Go to Jurgles. 4 p.m., go put Jurgles up If you bring ass. a gerbil and it's in your ass, you're going to get two-for-one drinks. Two-for-one. And if you bring a gerbil that's not in your ass, you're going to get half off your first drink. Ex- and then co-headlining Friday, October 1st, in Baltimore at Sal Volcano. And then the big news, we've just put a second show on at the Wilbur Theater. We've added a second show, and the tickets are live right now, November 21st in Boston, Massachusetts. It's in Love. Boston. I can't wait to be in Boston. Dude, I've never played the Wilbur. And in fact, it's a it's a little bit of an emotional moment for me because Why? I shot my half hour across the street at the Royale Theater. I shot it uh, the year before, before me. you. You were right or no, you were right before Almost me? Before we did Montreal together. Yeah, we did, but I don't know what year you I think you might have done the half hour right before me. I did 2013. No, I was maybe I was 14. Mine was with Sam Morell and Oh, that was me. I was that I was that group. We just weren't on the same film day. We night. weren't on the same film day. Um, but I can't wait to go because I walked out of the Royal Theater and I'll never forget to this day, a girl goes, uh, a girl goes, hey, Ginger, my friend thinks you're fucking hot. And I go, oh, I'm so, I've, thank you. I have a girlfriend. And she goes, who cares? And I go, oh. And then her, I turn and there's a girl right next to her and she goes, I'm her friend. I think you're fucking hot. And I was like, nice. There you go. I like Boston girls. I love it. And I was right outside of the, the, uh, the Wilbur Theater and I looked across and um, I thought, how cool would it be to play there someday? Yeah, you're there. Now we're playing. For two shows. My Look friend at thinks that. you're fucking hot. Go to andrewsantino.com and come see me and come see my sweet Chrissy. Tonight, we're gonna go, I'm going to go do a show with you in Are Irvine. Are you going to come? Are you going to do it? Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll show some of the footage from that. From Let's us do giving it. Each Let's other show it. Yeah, Pimpy will film it. All right, you know how we end the episode. You look in your camera, say one word or one phrase to end the episode, to end us out, baby boy. All right, I'm going to say what I said on the last podcast. I'm going to continue to say it. I know you may have heard it before, and I'm sorry if I'm repeating it, but it's a phrase that I really think needs to be said if we want to get back on track as a people, vote red or you're dead. <laughs> in here, we pour whiskey, 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 whiskey. Oh, that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me five dollars for the whiskey and seventy-five dollars for the horse. Gingers are oh, hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers.